They were in high school when they met And things got kinda awkward With sparks in the air He would stare at her in class And she would try to act cool But it was obvious like ooh Hey guys, welcome back. So it has been a little while. I was sick. My son was sick, as you know already, I've already said. And then, um, for whatever reason, all of my stuff came back. Like, I think it was two days after Christmas. Um, I was full on back sick again, coughing and hacking, coughing fits to the point that I could not move my back. <clears throat> I was basically confined to the couch, the ice packs, was sleeping on the couch propped up. It was a bit of a nightmare, honestly. <clears throat> so I feel like I lost a few weeks out of December and then I lost actually several weeks out of December and then like the first week of January. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm still a little hoarse. Um, so my back is mainly back to normal, still a little bit of pain, but I'm actually able to move and do things now. So I am taking down all the Christmas stuff and getting it packed away. Um, actually, as you can see, I have stuff everywhere, tubs all over my house, <laughs> packing everything back up again. Um, so I'm not really going to show the takedown of everything. Um, just not gonna bore you guys with all of that but I do have all of my Valentine stuff and I am pretty well ready to go ahead and start decorating so as soon as I get um, everything packed up put away I'm just gonna leave my house a dirty little mess you can see I already have some of the Valentine stuff sitting out in here. Um, and we are gonna go ahead and decorate and clean as I go. So that's my hope to get everything um, done and going again. So sorry I've been gone so long, but we're getting back into things. Hey guys, okay, so we have, well, most everything is up. Everything's up in the attic. One thing I need to do is this stuff right here, which is stuff that goes in the buffet. So most everything else is all taken down, ready to go. I need to take down all of the uh, curtains that I pull up for Christmas, put all my um, other stuff back up, and I'm going to put out all my normal decor along with Valentine's decor at the same time. And I want to get some of that stuff done this morning before I go hop in the shower and get ready because I have a feeling once I do that, I'm not going to want to do anything else. I worked my tail end off yesterday and my back is killing me because even though my back is so much better um, from being sick and just really messing it up um it's it's still pretty it's still pretty sore so um i am going to go ahead and pull some of these pieces out try and get some of the stuff put up switch out curtains get my rug back down um the tinico that i showed you guys in the one of the previous videos that i got is my new so um vacuuming and mopping at the same time little um the vacuum cleaner type thing it is an absolutely insanely great thing for like everyday cleaning and just staying on top of stuff. It's not like meant for deep cleaning. If I want to deep clean, I'm gonna pull up my steam cleaner um, because I really, you know, that really just like pulls everything off the floor. This isn't meant to like scrub stuff up off the floor. It's just, you know, kind of daily maintenance sort of thing. However, 
I am going to be using that in my living room right now before I put down my rug because I want to get a good, um, just a sweep and like a quick mop over the top of the entire floor. And then later I'll go back with a um, steam mop and deep clean. I've already done a once over of the house. Um, you should have seen it after I had all of the tubs and the trees and everything um, up and out of here. It was insane. So I had to do a quick wipe down, quick sweep, um, just, you know, a basic once over um, to get it just like back to basic so that I could even attempt to um, start putting things out. And then obviously after that, I'm going to want to do a very deep clean. I am going to be deep cleaning all of the cabinets, all of the woodwork, all of the baseboards. My oven needs a massive scrub on the inside. Um, fans, um, I mean, basically, you know, deep spring clean. I also have some other things to do, like finishing taking down some nails, and I have to touch up some spots that I kind of accidentally messed up on the walls. So I have a few of those little things I need to do. Um, I have some stuff like that I need to take care of. But basically, that's what we're gonna be doing is putting out some Valentine's Day stuff and then I'm gonna be diving into some deep clean and all in January pants. Because <laughs> I'm not ready to get ready just yet. So I've got too much to do. So here we go. So this is all of the stuff that I have picked up. And some of it is from last year, but we are gonna start. So I also got these pillow covers also. These were the pillows, um, the red and white pillows for Christmas that I had out and I just took the covers off and I, put, I got these off of Amazon. I think they were a two pack for 20 bucks. So I think that is all of the decor. <music> in high school when they met and things got kind of awkward with sparks in the air he would stare at her in class and she would try to act cool but it was obvious i think i've mentioned before the white panel curtains that i put up for christmas are actually like 20 dollars, i think for a set of two from amazon and my light mint colored curtains that I'm putting back up are from Wayfair. They're really pretty. They're a blackout curtain and then they have a um, like a tool over the top of them and it just gives it a really nice soft look and of course I always get mine extra long so that they go all the way down to the floor and kind of puddle at the bottom. I just feel like it gives it a much softer look. Picked up a pen and paper Started writing Probably something about her eyes And how they're always shining Or something cliche like ooh Previously I had a mint colored balance Hanging right here and then I guess after just having the panels up for Christmas I just really liked the panel look over here So I decided to buy another set Of the mint panels that match the ones that I have in the living room and I'm just putting those up here and so far I'm really loving them. And how nobody can steal me away I am your horse cause I want you and I wanted you to know 
As he sang, she started to dance, grabbed his arm and took his I love using my essential oils in my diffuser. This is Jade Lemon and I actually just got it and I've used Young Loving for years, but it's a new scent to me and oh, it is so, so good. It just makes everything smell so clean and fresh. And they sing a kind of beautiful Calling each other sweetheart I promise nobody can get in their way Or steal the show They're in love now And I wanted you to know ever since we got this house. I was taking down the old security system and that is another little pleasant find that we found from the previous homeowner. To land on me Lay your trust, your burden Lay your hope on me card filled up on me and I didn't realize it I'd already hung up the banner and with the little tiny command strips and then put the little gnomes here these are through a set of three from the dollar spot for three dollars and then this little heart banner was from Hobby Lobby like I mentioned before these rosette pillow covers are from Amazon and the heart pillows are from the dollar spot at Target I got at the dollar spot also. I think it was five dollars. I love these interlocking hearts. I got those from Hobby Lobby. I thought they were so pretty. Kind of a different take on the wooden chains that you see everywhere. How could I resist your smile? Can we move on as before? I could wait for a thousand years. I've had these pink bouquets for years, probably I don't even know, maybe 15 years. I couldn't even tell you where I got them. This plate. 
I got at Hobby Lobby on sale and it has a matching pitcher and a matching coffee cup that I'm also using for decor. Back when my husband and I were engaged, he was deployed overseas, and for Valentine's Day, he sent me that little vase that has the hearts on it with a bunch of flowers in it, and I've held on to it ever since. I think it's so pretty, and I always pull it out uh, around the Valentine's time of the year. this heart I've had it for years as well I think I got it at Kirkland's it used to be decor in my bedroom when my bedroom was red and now it just transitioned perfectly for Valentine's decor So I'm just taking off my Christmas setup and you're going to see I go back and forth I don't even know how many times trying to figure out exactly what placemats and chargers I want to put down. Ultimately I ended up going with the Red Heart Cutout placemat by itself rather than anything else underneath and I show here that I'm using silver chargers underneath my plates but at the end of the video you'll see I actually add a pink charger that has hearts cut out and I set it over the top of the silver charger. What 
end up adding red heart plates over the top of these black and white floral plates. You'll see later on when I have to go back and reset the table again. what time it is I think it's like 9 30 at night and I haven't even stopped yet so here I am exhausted my body hurts and I am taking a nice little spa bath finally and trying to soak my muscles so I can get a good night's sleep Saxophone, we'll order in a bunch of food. I'll put your favorite. 
played music on all the way baritone Shut the lights go in front pieces throughout the house since then. So since we've done that, we went to Nebraska. We did a um, 50th anniversary party for um, my in-laws. So we were gone and then when we came back, I ended up having a rather large cookie order um, for Alzheimer's. And so that's actually gonna be in another, um, another vlog is um, that cookie order and I guess that's about it it's just, it's just been all, a lot of um, larger events being gone and then coming back and having to do orders and all the such so anyway so being gone um, since I I mean obviously I have gotten part of the Valentine's decor up um, or at that point I had and then now I've added a few more pieces which I'll show um, but for the time being I am going to I found I'm going to switch out my silverware container I've had several so the one that I had was wood and I really did like it but every time like the the knife would go in um, it was like it's like picking away at the wood and over years it's just like there's like a little small dust back there and I was like no I can't have that so I bought a different one and I do actually like this one but it's not meant to hold as much silverware as we have um, I try to keep 12 piece um, of everything just because we have the eight piece or the the dining room that can see eight and we've got the breakfast table that can see four and when all of the family is here um, we need every bit of that. So it's not meant to hold that. I believe it's meant to hold eight pieces. So anyway, I bought this one today and it's also a space saving design. So it should fit well, but since it's an open top, I'm hoping that it will hold, hold everything a little bit better. I don't know, we'll see. So I'm gonna switch that out. Um, I do have some stuff that needs to be done. I have some cleaning still that needs to take place um, since the last time, or since the beginning of this video, because um, it has been a week, um, number one. And number two, I still have a lot of their stuff kind of all over the living room in there, but I still have all the rest of my cookie stuff out. That all that whole area needs to be cleaned back up. Um, but, you guys know our, this is supposed to be a deep clean. So I'm going to dive in, I think, as soon as I change this out, I wanna see how this guy works. And I think we're gonna dive in and we're gonna start with deep cleaning um, from the top down, at least in 
this whole open area, so the kitchen, dining room, breakfast room, living room. Um, I want to do like the cabinets um, all the way up from the top, all the way down, and then all the way down to the baseboards, and then the baseboards through this whole section. But I have recently, I say recently, last year when um, I did them, I discovered, I don't, I'm sure other people know how to knew this, but I did not. So I recently discovered a much faster, more effective way of doing those. And I'll show you here in a sec. Um, but I mean, I can do this whole open area, all of my counters and everything, or not counters, but cabinets and everything, so fast and so much more effectively. So we'll get there in a sec. But for now, let's change out this subwoofer drawer. I usually just use a, <clears throat> a white towel to dry my towels with and they get so dirty and stained so easily because a lot of times they get used for other things. So these are clearly not hand towels. So that'd be a little easier for people to understand not to use those. So I'm gonna keep these a try. And obviously, I mean, it seems like these will pick up um, water really well also so I don't know I'll let you guys know so I didn't get a lot accomplished yesterday I basically just did the drawer but I don't have any orders this weekend so I just kind of relaxed so I'm gonna jump in right now do a quick clean um, pick everything up I just want things put away so that I can start in on deep cleaning from the top down because I don't want to do counter work and stuff like that and then just have to do it all over again so I'm just gonna do a quick time lapse of this and then we will jump into deep cleaning. Take my hand and let me have this dance.
not gonna, not gonna see me bleed Cause baby, I got you, 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 you I've been beaten to the ground, dragged across the dirt I've been scared to live so these towels that I got from Amazon are like a microfiber waffle. Not even sure exactly what they are, but they work amazing and they are so absorbent and I love how large they are. Definitely a good purchase. Okay, we are diving in head first with this deep clean. So this black piece right here, supposedly you can take it out and you can just put it in the dishwasher. Yeah, I can get mine out. However, I am using this little hack that I found and putting in baking soda, ice cubes, um, Dawn, and you're supposed to use lemon rinds, but I didn't have any lemon rinds, so I'm just using lemon juice and you don't use any water, you just start blending, um, turning on the dishwasher, <laughs> dishwasher on the, the, gar the garbage disposal and letting it blend and it really cleans the blades. And let me tell you, it really does work and it's, you wouldn't believe the stuff that was coming up out of there. It was so gross, but it smelled so good. So after scrubbing down the black piece, cleaning out the garbage disposal, I'm using the power paste to really scrub down my sink. Power paste is amazing. I mean, it is awesome. I don't know if you can tell, but it is just pulling up like this surface level gray stuff off the top of my sink. And it is doing, I mean, it really is doing an amazing job. You can use power paste on a lot of different surfaces too, but it is a little harsher. It has a little bit more of a gritty texture, so you have to be careful because it can scratch depending upon what surfaces that you use it on. But it is um, a whitener also, so I mean, it, it really will clean up some areas, especially if it's white, it'll bring the white color back. So if you haven't tried that, give that a try because it really does work well. So I've 
never actually done this, but in the spirit of spring cleaning, I'm just taking a toothbrush and really getting in the cracks in between my granite and the sink. And I didn't even realize how much stuff was in there because you really can't see that it's there. Um, anyway, it's pulling out a lot of stuff and giving it a nice good clean. And then I'm also going to take it to the drain part of the sink and really give that a good clean. You can probably see how much it's just kind of pulling up out of there. going to give my sponge caddy a nice cleaning put that back give it a nice rinse and then I'm going to add some lemon essential oil to my drain and you can just smell it smells so amazing anybody else despise doing dishes that would be me here is Murphy's Oil, it's a wood cleaner, and I am going to put it in my sink. I'm going to use this sponge. It is a O Cedar, I guess it's not a sponge, but it, it's like a microfiber cloth that goes on the end of the mop head. And I use the little side that's got the, <laughs> I don't know what you call it, the little finger looking thing. Anyway, it works really well. And I just wipe all of this down and it goes so super fast. I think I did the kitchen, both islands, the dining room, the um, buffet, all through the living room as you can, you'll see. And I think I've done all of this in like 30 minutes. Everything, all the doors, all the door jams, the baseboards, everything and now everything is dust free shining and it's just so simple so fast so effective and i absolutely love it if you haven't done this before give it a try because it really does make such a huge difference and especially if you vacuum the top of your cabinets first to really get all the dust up i had actually just done this that's why i'm not doing it but it does make a huge difference if you vacuum on top first, then do this, and then once you clean your floors, oh, everything just feels so clean. try to make sure I clean all the corners as well all the way up to the ceiling when I'm doing this too just to catch any cobwebs and it's not any extra effort really so you're just really kind of getting all of the spring cleaning done at one time in such a short amount of time. This was probably the most satisfying part for me. I pushed that all the way back behind the entertainment center on both sides and cleaned the baseboards. And uh, <laughs> I didn't have to pull out the entertainment center to clean behind there or anything, but I do know that all the dust has been caught, which is just a satisfying feeling for sure. When it all comes down, when our life
dirt and dust in there. It is nasty and it really does catch a lot of stuff through your house. So that all that stuff was on my walls and my baseboard. Ugh, yuck. This is where I was sitting while I was doing cookies and you'll see in a minute my cloth is like pink because I was using the airbrush and spraying all of the cookies with purple and so there's just like pink everywhere even later on when I'll show you um, the the mop water um, from the floor and it's pink so it really the overspray from the airbrush when I'm doing cakes or cookies can cause such a mess and then I have so much to clean afterwards. Like I said before I added red heart plates over the top of my black and white plates as you can see here and it's just a fun little simple addition but I thought they were cute. I got them at Hobby Lobby. This little tear tray I actually ended up swapping out the gnomes that were above my fireplace and put them over here and I put three new ones from Hobby Lobby over on the fireplace which you'll see at the end when I show you everything but I just thought this was really cute it's one of my favorites you can swim in shallow waters but it's gonna get you nowhere and I'm way too good to waste my time on boys like you can you speak without a filter can you give me something
take you there If I'm gonna love somebody, I just wanna love you If I'm gonna love somebody, I just wanna love you If I'm gonna love somebody, I just wanna love you If I'm gonna love somebody today just because I have run out of time to get it all done for this video but as of the next two days I will be continuing on and continuing to video and so you will see me cleaning um, my ovens my fans and a lot of decluttering but all of the open area in my house the dining breakfast nook kitchen living room all of that has been completely cleaned down um, top to bottom with the exception of the the fans so everything is good to go there and as you can see I'm vacuuming and steam not steam mopping but mopping and vacuuming again um, to finish off my night and pink water all of your so this was my red patio furniture as of this spring. I had made a video and lost it because I lost the footage off of my hard drive. And have you ever thought about spray painting your patio furniture to give it new life? Well, that's what I did and I used Rust-Oleum's fabric paint and as you can see, it turned out really pretty. It um, feels exactly the same if not softer. Um, had good coverage. I really love how it turned out. And here is my Valentine decor that I just put out as well. I'm really loving it. So don't throw away your patio furniture. Try and give it new life by spraying it. Not a whole lot going on at my front door, but I thought I'd show you anyway. So I decided to leave my Honeydukes tree up. It's pink and covered with candy. I figure it will work through Valentine's Day. And these are the new pink chargers I was telling you about. I thought they were super cute and adds a little bit extra. In this world I'll be right by your side with arms. Even if you don't want you wrote your name in my heart.
that I got from Hobby Lobby that I was telling you about that I swapped out for the Target ones. I thought they were really cute as well. added in this red and white heart blanket as well. I found it at Target for $10 and I thought, well, I guess I need that as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. This was just real life, <laughs> having to start and stop and do over again. So I enjoyed uh, creating the video and I hope you enjoyed as well. And we will see you again in the next one. Bye.